What's up, everybody? In today's video, we are going to focus on the worst things about living in Northern Virginia. Don't get me wrong, Virginia is a beautiful state and there's a lot of great reasons to live here, but there are cons to living in any state. So today we're going to focus on those so you know what you're in for if you choose to live in Northern Virginia. If you are new to my channel, my name is Karen Gardner. I am a local real estate agent here in Northern Virginia and Montgomery County, Maryland and Washington, DC. So if you are interested in the DMV, this is the perfect channel for you. So you might as well subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. So let's dive right in. So the first con about living here has to be that it is really expensive. The cost of living in Northern Virginia is super high. According to US News and World Report, four out of the top 15 richest counties in the whole country are located in Northern Virginia. Loudoun County, Virginia is the richest county in America by median household. Second is Falls Church, Virginia. Fifth is Fairfax County, Virginia and 10th is Arlington County, Virginia. In addition, worldatlas.com cites Loudoun County, Virginia as the most affluent county in the United States since 2008, with a median household income of around $157,000, with Falls Church, Virginia, Fairfax County, Virginia, Arlington County, Virginia, all in the top 10. So just how much does it cost to live in Virginia? If you look at the whole state, it doesn't look too bad. Check out bestplaces.net's breakdown of the cost of living for the entire state of Virginia. They gave it a 104.2 index compared to the United States average of 100. So it's not that bad. But then look where I work in Northern Virginia. Here's a chart that looks at McLean, Virginia, which is in Fairfax County, which is right across the border from Washington, DC. They gave McLean a 149.2 seven index compared to the US average of 100 and Virginia average of 104.2. And the biggest culprit, my specialty, is housing. Every other category is not too bad. Sure, transportation is expensive and groceries do seem to cost more than other places in the country, but housing got a 391.7 index with a median home cost of $1,186,000 $400. That's really expensive. If I do a quick search on our local MLS today in February of 2024 for active single family homes in Fairfax County, Virginia, they start at $50 million. When I say start, I mean, that's the most expensive. And if I scroll down to the 250th home that's listed today in Fairfax County, it's still $1,697,000. And just for kicks, let's see what the cheapest active single family home is today in Fairfax County. It looks like it's $400,000 for a 914 square foot house with four bedrooms and just one bathroom. So I think you get the gist of it. Northern Virginia is really expensive to live here, especially when it comes to real estate. Next on our list, a reason why you may not want to be here is there are so many tolls and they are also really expensive. You got to pay tolls to come into Washington, DC. You got to pay tolls to go into Maryland. You have to pay tolls to go from one place in Virginia to another place in Virginia. There are so many toll roads in Northern Virginia and they change depending on traffic and volume. In fact, Virginia Virginia itself has 10 toll road facilities and Northern Virginia has five of them. It can cost up to $20 just to commute into DC, depending on what time of the day you go to work and come home. And if you have to go back and forth into in and out of the state several times a day, like I do for work, you can only imagine how expensive it becomes. Now, I know some of you are gonna say, well, you can avoid those toll roads. You just have to go around them and do this and do that. I gotta tell you, it's not that easy when you really need to get where you're going to try to avoid the tolls. You end up paying them. They're very secretive. They get you even when you don't think you do. Now, there are many great jobs that are here in Northern Virginia. I mean, Amazon just came here and there's a lot of job opportunities to make a good living. So maybe you can afford to pay all those tolls. Next up is travel. Traffic. Besides those pesky tolls, you gotta deal with traffic and there's a lot of it here in Northern Virginia. It's just a very congested part of our country. According to our local news channel here, Northern Virginia is home to the single worst traffic hotspot in the entire country, which is the stretch of southbound Interstate 95 from the Fairfax County Parkway to Fredericksburg. And if you're commuting into DC, well then you have to deal with the bridge traffic. There's just no way around it to get into 
into the city and that can really stall things. And if there's an accident or some kind of weather delay, then it can take hours to get into the city. Add construction to that list, which is happening right now, and it can take even longer. Traffic is just really bad here, so just know if you're deciding to live in North Virginia, but you gotta go to DC for work, your commute time, well, it may take a long time. I have to keep saying this because I do get a lot of people that are moving to DC for work and they're trying to choose between Maryland and Virginia because they don't wanna live in the city. Although Northern Virginia may seem close closer in distance, the actual commute time may be longer than if you lived in Maryland, because in Maryland you just have more routes to choose from to get into the city. Just something to keep in mind. And don't forget about parking. Parking is terrible in Northern Virginia. Those meter cops, they are omnipresent. So if you do find street parking, which you rarely will, be mindful of the time, because if you are like five minutes late, you're probably gonna end up with a ticket. So look for those garages, but once again, they are expensive. And we can't talk about cons of living in Northern Virginia without mentioning the car tax, because this is a point of contention for everyone who lives here. Virginia is a personal property tax state where owners of new vehicles and used and leased vehicles are subject to an annual tax based on the assessed value as of January 1st. According to WalletHub, Virginia has the highest car tax in the entire country of the 27 states that have a car tax. Every year, you have to pay a vehicle personal property tax in Virginia. Now, this does vary from county to county, but let's look at Fairfax County, Virginia as an example. The current tax rate for most vehicles in Fairfax County, Virginia is $4.57 per $100 of assessed value. Like I said, this can change depending on the county. So if your car is assessed at $30,000, they apply the 90% assessment ratio, so $30,000, times 90% equals $27,000. Then $4.57 tax rates, so $4.57 divided by 100 times 27,000 equals $1,233.90. And that's every year. And to be honest, there are a lot of cars in Northern Virginia that are assessed for more than $30,000 so it would actually cost even more. There is some personal property tax released on the first 20,000 of assessed value. So definitely speak to an accountant about that so you can get the most accurate amount. I actually have a story to tell you guys. I had a client that decided to move to Northern Virginia in 2019. He's working in DC and he picked Virginia over Maryland. Well, he was already a little angry about the car tax, but when the pandemic hit, his car tax went up while everything else was going down. And he asked them, what is going on? And the state of Virginia told him, the value of used cars has gone up. So your property tax, your personal property tax, I should say, for your car is also going up. Wanna hear the end of that story? <laughs> he left Virginia and he moved to Maryland. The next reason why you may want to avoid Northern Virginia has to do with the weather. It gets super, super hot here in the summer and it's really humid. It's not unusual for the weather people on TV in the morning to say, today's forecast is 90 degrees, but it feels like 110. And guess what? It does. In the winters, we do get some snow. This year we're actually getting quite a lot of it, which is nice because last year we didn't get any, but just be aware if you do have kids going to schools here in Northern Virginia and they think it's gonna snow, and if it does snow, for sure, they're gonna cancel school or they'll be delayed or they'll come out early. They actually canceled school last week because of rain. So if you're moving here from a Northern state and you're not used to this, you've been warned right now. They think it's gonna snow and if it does snow, kids aren't going to school. Weather here is also very unpredictable. Like I said, right now here in February of 2024, it was like 75 degrees the other day. And and then the week before that, it was snowing. So we do get all four seasons here, but sometimes they all come within one week. And with the, the changing seasons, I do have to point out, there are a lot of allergies here. So if you do have allergies, especially to pollen, just be aware before you move here and just be protective. And we also do a lot of mosquitoes here. So there's that too. If you can't tell by now, I'm not really a fan of the summers here at all. 
In fact, a lot of us end up taking off to the beaches in the summer just to get away from all the humidity here. I personally really like the beaches in Delaware, but that's for another video. So I just have a couple more things to tell you about Northern Virginia. So if I haven't already convinced you to stay away, well, these last two might do the trick. I actually really like Virginia, but this video is not about liking it. It's about telling you the bad things about Northern Virginia so you are prepared if you move here. So we gotta talk about the competition. Like the rest of the DMV, by the way, when I say DMV, I am not talking about the Department of Motor Vehicles. I am talking about DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you're not familiar with that term and you're thinking about moving here, now you know. So like the rest of the DMV, Northern Virginia is highly competitive. You just have a lot of people here that are looking after a lot of very sought after jobs. And now, like I said, with Amazon moving here, it seems like everybody wants to move here and get a job with Amazon, but it's not as easy as it seems. There are a lot of super qualified people already living here that compete for those sought after jobs. So just keep that in mind because it can be really challenging. This goes for colleges as well. Virginia has a lot of great state schools, but they are really hard to get into. I have a friend whose daughter went to the gifted programs for high school, got a 1510 on her SAT, which is nearly perfect, and still didn't get into University of Virginia. It's just that competitive. So just be aware, you wanna live in Northern Virginia, the competition is fierce. And finally, we need to talk about deer and ticks. We have a lot of deer here in Northern Virginia and with deer come those pesky ticks. According to US News and World Report, Virginia is ranked number 10 for tick-borne disease cases. Lyme disease is the most commonly reported tick-borne disease in the state, but residents are also at risk of Rocky Mountain spotted fever and ehrlichiosis. The worst months for ticks are the spring and summer, but in Virginia, when the winters aren't that cold, they usually average the mid 20s, ticks don't die. Rather, they go dormant or inactive. So just be prepared because Virginia has amazing parks and hikes, and I just don't want you to get bit by a tick and then suffer from any of these diseases. So you know this now, so when you come, cover up or put on that tick repellent stuff and just be prepared. So I could probably find some more things to complain about, but I think I've covered the big ones. And if these haven't turned you off and you still want to move to Northern Virginia or Montgomery County, Maryland or Washington DC, and you would like our help, just send us an email. We'll set up a Zoom, we'll get you started. And if you're thinking about moving to DC, you may want to check out my reasons why you may not want to move to DC right after this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.